from the Gold Coast chapter, and they'll be here to sing for us in a couple of minutes. Thursday the 30th of October is the day. For those in the know, that's the day when half a million kids from around the country all sing at the same time in different places as part of our program. So tune in on Thursday the 30th of October. Another foundation supporter and has been with us right from the start with this program is the Australian Government. And I'm delighted today that we have a representative to say a few words and to introduce our choir. Uh, the local member, federal member for Moncrief, is the Parliamentary Secretary to the Treasurer. And I'd be pleased if you could join me now in welcoming to the stage the Honourable Steve Shobo, MP. Well, thank you very much, Chris. Uh, good morning to all of you. Uh, despite the fact that uh, I was being introduced by Chris Bowen, who shares, of course, a name with the Shadow Treasurer, I still thought, no, I'll do my duty and turn up and uh, welcome you all to the Gold Coast, despite it being across political chambers. But uh, look, can I, uh, on behalf of uh, the Australian Government, but also from the talented group of Gold Coast school children that you're about to hear from, warmly welcome you to the Gold Coast. Emphasis on the warmly for those of you that are from interstate. Yep, this is true. This is what it's like in winter here on the Gold Coast. Yeah. So consider relocating. Um, for those of you that are locals, well, just another day in paradise. Um, can I say to each of you that have taken the time, though, I know from what I understand, the stoic ones are here this morning. I understand there were some celebrations last night. So double kudos points to you guys for making it bright and early for breakfast this morning, I say. But uh, look, I have come along on behalf of the Australian Government just to uh, lend my support on a personal level to this program. Uh, the Australian Government's putting in just shy of uh, half a million dollars into this program and has been doing so uh, since the program was initiated, uh, that is Music Counter Sin by the former Coalition Government back in about 2006, I think it was. And it's been, to be fair, supported by both sides of the political chamber since then. And in many respects, although I only caught the second half of uh, your guest speaker this, earlier this morning, I really do believe that those values that he spoke about, the value of music, not only to education but to boosting morale and, and each of us having, I believe intrinsically, internally, uh, a desire to affiliate and to associate uh, and to have those amazing feelings that come from music, I think is something that all Australian governments, irrespective of political persuasion, recognise and want to support. The fact that we have such a strong program in Queensland, I think, is something also to be, uh, I guess in some respects, uh, proud of, although it might be in a parochial level. Uh, what we want to see is the success of Queensland's having rolled out nationally. Uh, in 2,000 schools, some 550,000 students are touched by the Music Countersyn program, and I think that that's tremendous. We want to continue supporting it, continue making sure that as much as possible we incentivise and just create that spirit of goodwill around music programs uh, and provide what support we can to make sure that all young Australians at least have the opportunity, even if they don't follow through, have the opportunity to immerse themselves in music. Now, I had the privilege last year of going along to the top of the Q1 uh, and watching Darren Percival and the choirs perform then, and you're indeed going to be privileged this morning, so uh, the next few minutes, I think, will make up for the fact it might have been an early start, and for some of you, a dusty start, uh, because we've got here uh, the combined uh, Gold Coast chapter of the school's choir. Uh, we've got students here this morning from Corumban Valley State School. Eleanor, where, you should put your hands up as I say it. Corumban Valley State School, where are you guys? There they are at the very back there. Eleanor State School, there they are. Uh, Pacific Pines State School, terrific. Southport State School, where's the Southport? Uh, Service Paradise State School, g'day guys. Talabudra State School, Terrific. Wurrungaree State School and Varsity College. Terrific. Well, ladies and gentlemen, just like uh, Chris introduced me, I now introduce to you the Gold Coast Combined Schools Choir. I hope you enjoy it and knock them dead, guys. Welcome.
It's, uh, I mean, all, all you people who are actually parents, I should point out I'm not a parent. I'm, I occupy a very uh, special role as favourite uncle because I don't have my own kids to be distracted by. So when I spend time with the kids, I spend time with the kids. Then, of course, I hand them back full of red cordial and, you know, stuff. Uh, I have to confess I was getting a little bit teary there. I was really, uh, really knocked out by that. and. Uh, you know, it brings us back to basics and what we've all been talking about and what we're trying to do. So thank you so much for everyone who's contributed to what's happened so far to this morning. Thank you for your uh, good wishes and your efforts. Let's get out there and have a fantastic day today. This brings an end to uh, our formalities this morning. We'll uh, see you at the AGM uh, where you're all invited to vote me out. And uh, have a fantastic day. Thank you so much. Have a great day.